Hi and welcome back to the channel. Now I've had a special request of a close friend Tom Murphy. Now Tom Murphy loves video games. He had many different systems growing up, but his absolute favourite of them all is the ZX Spectrum. Now he's asked me on many times to do a video, but for some reason I keep forgetting to do it, until now. So let's take a look at Tom Murphy's favourite ZX Spectrum games of all time. Tom's first choice is 1942, released in 1986 and published by Elite. Now we all know this is a Capcom arcade classic. Top down shooter is finest. It's a fantastic game and the ZX Spectrum version is a great one too. Manic Miner, released in 1983 and published by Bug Bite. You play as a role as Miner Willie in this one and you're an explorer and adventurer, but you come across these caverns, and they used to be an extinct civilization. And you realize there's plenty of iron ore and metals there for you to collect. You've got 20 caverns to conquer, and this is an absolute classic on the ZX Spectrum. Fruit Machine Simulator, released in 1987, and this was published by Cold Masters. Now this is a budget title. Obviously Cold Masters were known for these type of games. And this is a great one. It took me a while to figure out the buttons and how to get the game working. But yeah, I can see why Tom likes this one. Because this one is always a fun and it's very addictive. And now we got an early football game for you now, and this is Match Day, released in 1984 and published by Ocean. Now Match Day is a great game on the ZX Spectrum. It's football at its finest for its time. I did struggle to figure out which team was which at the start, but once I figured it out, I was playing this game for hours. This was a great choice by Tom. Chucky Egg, released in 1984 and published by ANF Software. No, Chucky Egg is an 8-bit classic on many systems. I only ever played it on a Commodore 64, but I did play it also on the Amiga. Less said about that one the better. But Chucky Egg is a classic on 8-bit systems, especially on the ZX Spectrum. There's always a fun in it, great graphics and gameplay too. Saboteur, released in 1985 and published by Durrell Software. Now Saboteur, you play as a samurai. And that, back in the day, was a big thing. Because ninjas and samurais were all a thing back in the 80s. But in this one, it's unique. You play as a platform, beat em up and a stealth element to the game too. So there's plenty of different things for you to do. It took me a while to get playing on this one. But once I did, I couldn't put that joystick down. Gauntlet, released in 1987 and published by US Gold. Now Gauntlet's Atari Arcade Classic, and we all played this one in the arcade back in the day. And the ZX Spectrum home port is a great one. Very similar to the arcade, the levels are in it, you've got four characters to choose from as well. Yeah, absolute classic on the system. If it's one game Tom keeps mentioning to me when it comes to ZX Spectrum, it's this one. Jet Set Willy, released in 1984 and published by Software Projects. Now Jet Set Willy is the follow up to Manic Miner, but this time you've got a lavish mansion. But unfortunately you need to tidy it up before the housekeeper will let you sleep. Another absolute classic on the ZX Spectrum. Next we got a platform adventure masterclass and Tom asked me to pick any dizzy game so I went with this one 
Fancy Will Dizzy, released in 1989 and published by Coldmaster. Yet, the Oliver Twins made a great series of games for this, and every game is worth certainly worth playing. But this one is one of my favourites. Why? Because I remember playing this one a lot with my friend on his Commodore 64 back in the day, then the ZX Spectrum. And the ZX Spectrum version is a classic. It's a fantastic game and also fun. And the last game Tom has chosen is Attic Attack, released in 1983 and published by Ultimate Play the Game. Now Attic Attack has got it all in it. It's got action elements to it, adventure, light puzzle solving too. And your goal in this game is to explore a large castle. It's very colourful for its time and it's got great graphics and gameplay too. Well that's it. Well Tom, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I've done all your games justice, and I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Bye for now.